Hey, it's Joseph here. Even though a lot of people work with Revit in daily basis, creating Revit families or even modifying is not something that everyone feels comfortable with. However, it is certainly worth learning about it. You can further streamline your workflows and you can do so much more with correctly built families. Over the years, I have learned a few tips and tricks and there are some new ways that we have at our disposal. I would like to cover those things today. And fortunately, it really isn't all that difficult once you get the hang of it. So this video would be a good place to start everything with if you're learning for the first time. And even if you know a few things already, there will be some tips and tricks that you'll be able to pick up during this video. So get comfortable and let's jump right in. And before I want to mention about our sponsor, MSI Workstations. MSI has sponsored this video for me to show how their workstation laptops are just built for complex architectural tasks that we do. Their powerful workstations such as this WS75 would be able to everything from complex drawing and document handling such as dealing with heavy vector graphics to graphic design work that we typically do as designers, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and even Premiere Pro and typical architectural 3D modeling to production design using Revit, Format, AutoCAD, SolidWorks, and SketchUp are just not a problem at all. And the professional rendering with V-Ray, Enscape, and Lumion can be handled with the high-performance graphics card, 6GB of VRAM that NVIDIA Quadro 5000 has. And when the time is right, you can even run VR softwares on this laptop without a problem. This specific laptop includes 4K mini LED display, which is optional. And the screen is incredibly color accurate, vibrant, and bright. This makes judging your project's color easy and accurate. You don't have to second guess your work. All of these great specs on this laptop means that either you're going to get desktop grade or even better performance out of this machine. And to demonstrate the capabilities of this laptop, I'll be using this laptop to do the tutorial today and then I'll be recording the screen. 